M0FXB, welcome to my channel. On the left, we've got the Bofeng 17, and on the right, we've got the Bofeng 20. They both operate virtually in an identical way. Someone's asked me, how do you scan on these radios? Now, you can quickly scan through the frequencies just by holding the up and down arrows like this. We hope. There it goes. But that's not really scanning. To actually scan, you have to hold down the, this. On this radio, it's the blue button, and on the 20, the red button. Now, it will do this in VFO or memory mode. So if you look now in small writing, it says VFO, just there and there. If we hold down the green button on, e on both radios, channel mode. it takes you to channel mode, which is basically memory mode. And so if I just hold down the scan now, it will start to scan, and it does say UHF scan. It's picking up my a node that I've got here at home. So you can see now, if you press the hash button, it will actually scan in VHF. That's the hash button here. Same goes for this radio. Now, once you've found something, so it says VHF, we key the mic on the 20. M0 FXB, let's key it on the, we want it on two meters. So to go A and B band, you just press the red button, the red button or the blue button briefly, and it takes you between main and sub A and B. So we'll go to A band, and we'll key up M0 FXB, one, two, three, four, test, test, and it will pick it up there. It's If you look, it's slightly outlook, 144.99, so that, you know, it's not perfect, but it has found it. Now to store it in memory, you hold down the green button and it will take you to memory channel. Let's push it again. Now I had to press it a couple of times and eventually it took me straight to that. So let's just do that again. So we'll back out with the, the blue button is like the back button on here. It's the back one here. Let's just do that again. So we'll go back into scanning, hold down the blue searching then we'll key two meters actually we want to press the hash to go vhf m0 fxb it's found that frequency i know it look, all these weird numbers they are you just briefly press and then you can go down you can choose where you want it to save it i mean you could, you could change it as well to get it on the correct frequency so let's just say we save it on six by going down then we just Confirm. Press it again. Memory channel. Confirm. Back out with the blue. If we go to memory channel, there it is there already. Five. Five. Seven. There it is there. So that's it. And I'll just quickly, at the end of this, I'll just show you the programming software. Just get yourself a Bofeng UV5R cable. You know, they're about £5. I mean, I just found them on Amazon for £4 delivered. I actually got a spare one because of it, because they're very handy. We've got a lot of Bofengs here. So you plug it into the side of you know, either radio. You do need to remember when you go to the software, you'll see in a minute, I always forget to do it, to select the co correct COM port. I just plug that in and press the, accidentally press the, the broadcast radio. They both have broadcast radio, which is this button here and here. And they have a torch, you know, an LED, very, very similar. Some of these, believe it or not, do actually come with GPS, but these ones don't. And there are different types of Bofengs. You've got the Bofeng A team, which has a different menu layout altogether, and is um, it basically completely works in a different way. And this one is the Bofeng 17, but there is a 17 that looks like the 18, so it can be confusing. But anyway, let's show you the software. We're at the software. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Also, I actually did read the manual regarding searching the one touch search frequency as shown here i'll put that link in as well the usb cable this is what it looks like and it's plugged into the right hand side of the red radio but it works on both on both radios once you download the software from this link just go to here i went to 17r but look at all these other downloads that you can use so that that could come in quite handy on the bofeng site thank you Next thing is, once you've downloaded, you'll open up the software and it looks like this. You're gonna to need to select your COM port. So right click on the Windows logo, right click like that, device manager, find your COM port. Double click comms just here and look, we're COM9. Yours should say the same as mine really. 
USB serial CH340, but a different COM number. Minimize that. Then at the top here, go to port. And then if it's a different number than the nine we just saw, yours will be, choose your number. There is a drop down. You don't see it straight away, but there is one there. Choose that, and once you've selected it, you'll be able to go program, then read. Start, like so. Now, unfortunately, I've noticed that the program is not interchangeable between these two radios. Maybe I can copy and paste, but if I read one radio, then it won't work on the other. I, I'm sure with copy and paste you could do it. So here's all the programs I've got on the red radio. You can see on the far right hand side the names, Hubnet, GB3WR, there. To change a frequency, nice and easy, you've got the channels listed here. Just create a new one. So if we go uh, 433 at the bottom there, dot 300. Receive, I don't tend to use a tone. And then let's just pretend this is a, a repeater. We'll go 434.900, just, just, just an example. We'll put in a tone of, say, on transmit, 77, let's say. Again, all the receives are off here. There is these D ones. We're not, I haven't done them. They were there already. Uh, this radio will do PMR. Uh, you can change your power, high and low, wide and narrow band, add it to scan, not use the scan part, but it does say you can add it to a scan. PTTID, you've got signaling. I haven't done anything with any of that. And then add a new name. We just put the name in hello for now. And then once you, you're ready, <clears throat> we can look at settings. Let's have a look here. Um, you go to window at the top. You've got channel list that we're on now. VFO mode, you can select that and tell it what to, to boot up on. So I could put in there 434.550 because that's my, my node that I listen to Hubnet every day. You can change a step. I do need CTCSS, and that's VFO A. And on the B band, I tend to listen to 145.600 WR, and we want a transmit of 94.8. I think that's it. And we can set the power as well. So at least when it boots up, it will boot up to that when it's in VFO mode. Let's close that. Function. These are some of the settings that are within the radio. You've got squelch, timeout when you talk, save mode. Is that to do with saving after a search? Not sure. Dual standby, so it will it will receive two frequencies, but not at the same time. It will monitor. And lots of other settings there. Display type A, and you can tell it if you want it to display the name. Look. If you want it to boot up in VFO mode or channel mode, display name for B. Yeah, we're going to put name and we'll let it boot up in VFO. So again, more settings to tinker with. You can open old files that you've saved. So if we save now, we've saved that and then we would go open, find the file that we've saved one of these data files, click open, and then it's gonna bring back all your things, all your memories. I noticed you've got save as as well, and you've got open here, I'm pretty sure that's the same thing, setting, that's port. Power on, yeah, you can, you can add a photograph, so you go power on picture, and you import a photograph, they're giving you the image size here, 160 by 128, import it. Um, I don't think I've got anything on here, but you never know. Not that size, but you never know. Let's just do it anyway. Pictures. Probably all drone pictures, knowing me. Drone pictures, camera imports. No, nothing. Try again. Saved pictures. I normally have some drone photographs here. Drone owner. Nope. Unfortunately, no photographs to save, so let's just see if I can randomly find one. Let's try this one, and then we'll just move on. 
Anything here? No, it's got to be a BMP picture as well. So that's another thing we've just learned. It has to be BMP and the size is 160128. Let's try one more time and then we'll call it a day. Download, no. So it looks like we need to get the, an image. It's got to be a bitmap and it has to be this size. We'll do that in another video. Otherwise, thanks for watching my channel and to write it to the radio, you actually go select right up here at the top and it will write to the radio. Bye for now, all the best.